I was physically and mentally drained and I decided that something had to change. So I sought out help through the VA um, and they put me into uh, some dependency, uh, alcohol or drug dependency program. And I just recently finished a post-traumatic stress disorder program while I've been here at the domiciliary. And uh, that's kind of like where I am now, you know. I, I have made more progress in the six months since and in, in, in the four years that I've been out of the military. And that is astounding to me and everyone else. And I just, I can't, it's hard, hard to believe the amount of progress a person can make when they are ready to do the work that it takes to do that. Um, but you have to be ready. Um, I'm speaking candidly. I'm not just no, you know, giving you, you some. No, this is how I talk to people, no, by the way. I'm not a sunshine and uh, no, no, rainbows kind of guy. That was sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here at Volunteers of America, we um, have a very uh, supportive environment. And there are a lot of programs and a lot of case managers that are Honestly, and I, I know genuine people when I see them. I know the difference. And I can see that these people are genuine about what they are telling you. They're, they're actually trying to help you. They're thinking about this when they go home. They think about it when they get up. How can I help this person achieve the goals that they want? Um, and, I mean, this is a great building, too. So the environment doesn't hurt either. So, I mean, it's really nice to be in a state-of-the-art state building with people who actually care about you. Um, to help you succeed. I mean, it really can't get any better. If you could find a better environment, uh, I'd, I'd probably like to see it, just so I could judge it, base it off. This would be my baseline to judge the next environment off of.